welcome to this Trivial Business Center tutorial demonstration video where we'll cover the new Create Tunnel Inspection Report command and the Tunneling Module version 5.4. The Create Tunnel Inspection Report command provides a comprehensive report showing the inspection information from TBC which can meet stakeholder requirements on tunnel projects. For typical applications like excavation, shellcrete, and lining quality analysis. In this report included is a heat map plan view, cross-section, and deviation view showing undulations, thickness, and out-of-tolerance locations, as well as areas and volumes for over- and underbreak values. This report can also be customized using the TBC Custom Report Engine through Microsoft Word. Now the last step in the inspection process is to create the report. This can be generated by right-clicking on the mesh itself, which can be found under the tunnel corridor. So if I go through the corridor to my tunnel, I can see I have my excava excavation mesh. And I can right click on that and run the tunnel inspection report. I can also find it in the ribbon here under inspection report. Some various settings that can be used in the inspection report. First, you select the report template. In this case, we have a generic report, but there's also a custom report that can be generated from this, which can be found under the Create Custom Report Options. So you can change the layout and what is shown in that report. I choose my inspection map and then my station interval. So in this case, I only want, let's say every 10 meters, a cross-section view generated. And then I can also choose to scale the plan view image to fit the layout. The scale plan view image is very useful to scale the plan view, which is shown here on the left-hand side, to fit the page. In cases where the tunnel may be very long, it'll look very skinny, but in the, using the scale option, it will scale it to fit the report layout. There's also a scaling option for the cross-section view to use the same scale across all stations or best fit. So once I've selected my options, I press OK, and that will generate the report. Once I've pressed OK, the report's generated. And now I can see on the first page, I can see that there's a general summary of statistics about this. So I can see the overbreak volumes and areas, as well as any maximum overbreak and underbreak areas. If I scroll down, I can see for every station along that tunnel, I have a inspection view created, which shows the cross section, and as well the deviation view and statistics on that specific station. So in this case, station 117.51. If I continue to scroll down, I'll also see that there's more sheets created for everyone. If you find that the layout of this report isn't preferable and you want to change it, you can also use the custom report feature to change the layout of this report. For instance, if I want a larger cross-section view or maybe I don't need these table values. I can remove these and create my own report. To do this in TBC, you can go to the Create Custom Report option and select the Tunnel Inspection Report. I can give it a new name, and I can call this Example Inspection and Custom Inspection Report. And then I choose my report layout file which in this case will be the tunnel inspection report. And once I've selected that, I go to the edit layout. Now this opens up Microsoft Word and it shows the template, the existing template for the inspection map. And now I can choose to change any of this information as necessary, such as I can rescale these images and I can change the whole layout as, as necessary. I can also change which data I want using the right hand side in the report layout. This report layout data fields show all of the different values that can be generated using the inspection map. And I can choose which of these I do and do not want to see by simply dragging them into the report. So if I want to show the overbreak area, I can drag that into the report. Sure.